Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit these beautiful mittens. So the main stitch is a garter stitch uh, and the written instruction you can find already on my blog. I call them Christmas mittens and these mittens are the final accessory of my big uh, set. So as you might have seen already, uh, I was knitting hat in the same garter stitch and the dicky. Just a second, turtleneck. So if you want to knit the same set as I did, you're welcome. It's really cute. It's really warm. I'm really happy with all what I have now. For the hat I, I was using for the mittens and for the hat and for the dicky. Chinese yarn. It is woolen yarn with 70% of wool and 4 millimeters double pointed knitting needles. You can use a magic loop and use a um, uh, circular needles. So if you want to try knitting this mittens with me, you're welcome. Using long tail custom method and five double pointed needles, four millimeters, cast on 32 stitches. So first cast on eight stitches holding two needles together. Now take another two needles and place them on top in this way and cast on eight more and please look there is no distance between the last stitch and the next one. Again, cast on 8 stitches. Let's count. And here, 3, 3, yeah, 8. Now take one needle from this side and take another needle. Again, place them on top. And yes, if you like a uh, magic loop method, you can use uh, circular needles, 80, 80 centimeters or 100 centimeters length. Okay, cast on eight more stitches here. Now take one needle from here, be careful, do not lose, and place this two needle again on top of the third needle. And pull tight, tight here. One, two, Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And one more stitch we will go we are going to use. So this is nine. We are going to use this stitch. Yes, nine to join and knit in round. So now place it's better to place it on the table and check that all your stitches looking in one direction. It's easy to twist here. So 
slip the first stitch to the right hand needle and slip the last stitch over the first one. That's it. That's how we joined. And from this point we will knit in the round. And we start with ribbon, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, this is six, then knit one, so we have seven now stitches here on the first needle. We take one more from this needle, purl one. The second needle, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and purl one from the third. Now third needle, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and purl one. From this needle and at the end needle number four eight more stitches knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one And let's repeat the ribbon. Need one pro one, need one pro one, need one pro one, need one pro one. And now you go on knitting ribbon, need one pro one until this part reaches about seven centimeters. So, so that's what I have. Let's measure it. I think I've done about, uh, so almost seven, six and a half. I've done uh, 15 rounds. So it doesn't matter, just about six, seven centimeters. And from this round, we are going to start knitting in garter stitch. Garter stitch in the round always alternate knit round and purl round. So we start with a purl round and purl all stitches. Pearl, pearl, go on, pearl until the end. Next round, round number two, needle stitches.
one and finish this round. Next round we will start repeating again. Curl all stitches around. Finish this round. After that, knit and, and again curl and knit. So in total, after the ribbon, knit 18 rounds until you reach the uh, thumb gusset. So here I am. That's what I have. And if we count garter stitch rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in total 18. And one more round I curl. So in total 19 rounds after the ribbon. So you need to finish with a curl round. In the next round we are going to make a thumb gusset and please pay attention. Here is the seam and I want to, this seam to stay on the side. So for the right for the right mitten the thumb gusset will be on the first needle here. So the seam will be on the side. For the left hand, so the seam is on the side here, it means that we will make a thumb gusset on the first needle. So we will, I think, need, uh, need two and then six, six stitches for the thumb gusset. If you want, you can check the written instruction. Now we are starting knitting the right, right hand mitten. And now you will need a small piece of yarn, preferably the, uh, preferably the same weight. So we will need the first six stitches. So the next round is a knit round. We will need first six stitches using another yarn. Now return these six stitches back to the left hand needle. Pick up the working yarn, green one. And go on knitting like what you did before. So you need these stitches of the gusset and need all other stitches around. And the last needle. For the left hand mitten you will <coughs> need two and then knit six with another color, return them and knit with a green color, with the main color. And the last stitch. Return one stitch back here. Okay, so now the next round is a pearl round. The same, we go on knitting in garter stitch. Pearl all stitches around. Finish this round and after that go and repeat a knit round, purl round, knit round, purl round and like this you go on repeating until
until the mitten will reach or cover the tip of your little finger. So here I am, uh, that's what I have. We can measure now after there are some gusset. It is about nine centimeters for my hand. And let's start making decreases. And pay attention that the last round was the, uh, the knit round. So you see, knit stitches. Now, purl one. And next two stitches, purl two together, left leaning. To make them left leaning, I turn the direction of these two stitches and I purl, so pay attention here is the right side of the loop, and I purl two together through the back loop. Like this I will get a left leaning decrease. Now purl 10. And when you have three stitches on the second needle, purl two together and it is right leaning decrease. So we don't change the direction here. And purl one. Turn and repeat what we have just done. Purl one. Purl two together, left leaning. For this, we turn next two stitches and purl together through the back loop. You will see that the stitch that we formed is leaning to the left side. Now purl ten. And purl two together right leaning and purl one. Round number two of decreases. Knit all stitches without any decreases in this round. Please go on, finish this round. Round number three, we will repeat making decreases. Purl one. Purl two together, left leaning. So you turn and return. And purl two together, left leaning through the back loop. Now purl eight. It was purl ten in the first round. Now purl eight, then it will be purl six. Purl two together, right leaning, and purl one. Now repeat again. Purl one, then purl two together left leaning, then purl eight, purl two together right leaning, and purl one. And after that, 
need all stitches round number four round number five go on making decreases curl one curl two together left leaning so we turn stitches to stitches and curl it through the back loop together curl six Curl, curl two together right leaning and curl one repeat the same for the third and for the fourth needle and then knit the next round without decreases round number seven curl one curl two together left leaning Curl four, curl two together right, leaning, and curl one. Repeat for the third and for the fourth needle and then knit again. Round number nine. Curl one. Curl two together left leaning. Curl two, curl two together right leaning, curl one. Again, repeat the same, and after that, knit one more round. And the last round, round number eleven. Curl one, curl two together left leaning. And right away, curl two together right leaning. Curl one. And repeat. After that, you don't need to need one more round. Just repeat and that's it. Cut the yarn now. I'm going to use a tapestry needle, thread the tail and pull it through remaining stitches. So in total 8 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pull tight and now through the center pull the needle on the wrong side. And you can pull the needle again through remaining stitches. Oops. 
too short tail. Great. Make a knot. And then cut the yarn. Now let's go back to the sun gusset. We need to unravel this yarn and pick up at the same time pick up leaf stitches so be careful this is not the stitch slowly slowly Here is the first stitch. And the second one. So on top there will be five stitches and at the bottom there will be six stitches. In total 11 stitches. Oops. Slowly. Okay. And the last stitch here. Okay. So five stitches here and one more stitch here, the sixth one. Well, finally. So six stitches here and five here. For the right mitten, I'm going to pick up two stitches on the right side and one stitch from the left side. For the left hand mitten, hand mitten it will be vice versa. Two stitches from the left side and one stitch from the right side. So we start attach the yarn and knit, knit six. If you knit you can turn your stitches like what I'm doing. Now knit six and we will knit the thumb in stockinette stitch only need stitches. Now here you need to pick up one stitch. So I'm always trying like find the stitch that will read off me from their holes. 
because I don't like to sew holes at the end. So if I need the next stitch, so you see I will have a hole, I don't like it. So let's unravel. Only one stitch, so try to pick up two bars and then knit them together. So let's do it again. For example, here and here. Place them on the left hand needle, it will be easier, and knit two together. Good. After that, knit five. Let's take another needle. And we will need to pick up here two more stitches. So you're here on this side, where is the, where is the seam? For the left side, it will be on the left side, two stitches. Let's redistribute a little bit differently. Okay. I'm going to use only four needles here. And let's pick up two more stitches. If you want to pick up more stitches, you can, of course, if you see that you have holes. But then in the next round, you will make just, you will decrease them. In total, you have to finish with 14 stitches for the thumb. So these two, let's knit them, knit two together. And let's pick up one more. You can always twist stitches. No, not this one. I want this one. No. Okay. And let's knit this one as well. So no holes? Seems not. Perfect. Here you can place stitch marker or you don't need to place it. It's up to you. You decide. I will place it for the first two rounds and then it will be easier. So let's place the beginning was here. And go on knitting in stocking and stitch. Now two needles is not enough. We need to add the one more, the third one. Like this, you don't need the stitch marker. Take the fourth needle. And knit. So go on knitting and stocking and stitch until the thumb reaches the center of your nail. So about till this point. And I will show you how to make decreases after. Please go on. So here what I have. 
the middle a little bit even longer here you see no holes and after you wash it will look much much better and let's start making decreases So there will, there will be in total three rounds for decreases. Need two. Need two together. After that, need three. Need two together. Again, need three. Need two together. Round number two, right away. Need one. Need two together. Here, need two. Need two together. Again, need two. Need two together. And round number three. Need two together. Need one, need two together, need one, and need two together. That's it. You have five stitches now. Now cut the yarn again using a yarn needle, a tapestry needle, thread the tail through remaining stitches. And the last stitch. Pull tight and that's what we have. Beautiful thumb. Now again pull it on the wrong side and weave in ends. Now 
make a knot. That's it, guys. So if you need a written instruction for the meetings, you can find them on my blog for the uh, left meeting. Don't forget to wash your meetings after. And if you didn't need yet the matching dicky and the hat, you're welcome. You can find the link down below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really helps, helps me and inspires me. Stay tuned and I hope to see you soon. Bye!